Hello everyone. You might know me as uh, somebody who has some particularly uh, heated opinions about copyright, uh, given that I make a weekly flags recap every week, and uh, I, go, I go off about copyright laws and how they need to be relaxed uh, very often in that series. But today I want to talk about something that's blatant uh, copyright infringement that I am in favor of. Um, this is a website called Sci-Hub. Now, uh, what it is is basically the pirate bay of scientific research. And uh, you just go onto the website, uh, you put uh, a URL of a paper that you are wanting to get, and they will use some shared... Uh, password for whatever paywall you're trying to get around and they will get that paper for you all right and then they'll save a copy so that they don't have to access that paywall again and what it does for me it 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 brightened my prospects for uh, future schoolwork and future videos here on YouTube because uh, I don't have to get around these paywalls and I have access to everything now um, and I, I will give you two anecdotes about why I'm making this video to just to say sci-hub, sci-hub, sci-hub. Uh, but first, I want you to comment below, and I want you to tell me if you've heard the, heard of this site before, or um, if the, just me saying sci-hub, sci-hub, sci-hub just changed your life for the better, because it, it the knowledge of it changed my life for the better. I just want to, I want to know from you um, how you feel about this. And I'll I'll say two reasons why I'm making this video. The first one was I've been watching some Rebecca Watson videos lately, and she's been uh, taking a lot of evolutionary psychology to task lately, and she said that uh, part of the problem with de getting to it is you have to get around paywalls, and then also uh, you, you don't see a lot of peer review that's like just simple reading and, and pointing out of flaws because people have to get around paywalls. So a lot of the science that she sees coming out of evolutionary psychology, and a lot of the science that I see coming out of uh, the behavioral health field, especially social work, um, it's junk science. It needs to just go away. It needs to be uh, debunked, uh, rebuked, uh, needs an exorcism, whatever you want to say. Um, but I feel like uh, th the knowledge of this site will help a lot of lay people who don't have subscriptions to all of these uh, portals to get to scientific journal articles, and they, they're not going to school, so they have no access through the library. It'll help them be able to see these uh, things and, and be able to point out the flaws, and, and we'll have a better society for it. Um, Second reason I'm making this video is uh, my girlfriend Misty. She's attending an online university, and she has no access to certain journals like Psych Info, and um, her old school used to have it. And we could go down the street to Metropolitan State University and go into the library, but now you have to be a registered student there, which she used to be, and uh, she isn't now. So. Um, we have no access just by walking into a library to these journal articles because they're all behind paywalls. Um, so th this has really helped her immediately. It's going to help me in the future with schoolwork. Um, I love it. I like the idea. And I don't feel bad about the, the journals because they don't pay the people who are making the actual content, those researchers. Um, they only you know give them uh, prestige, and I think that uh, they're just a middleman that needs to be cut out. Tell me what you think below in the comments.